You guys are pretty sharp, aren't you? How curious, though, to run into you all the way out here. Y you The fool! Hey! We meet again, Class 7. I'm glad to see you're all well. Then again, I can't imagine you'd believe anything I'd tell you right now. Scarecrow. You asshole! Wait, is that... Uh, Sharon! How lovely to see you again, my lady. Uh, pardon me. Lady Elisa Reinford. Or perhaps I should say pleasure to meet you, as I am no longer the Sharon you knew. I am once more Ouroboros' Enforcer Number 9. The Severing Eclipse. Uh, uh, Elisa. If all of you are here, then... I take it Governor General Rufus is within that pillar of light? <laughs> right on the mark! Honestly, that's why I was so surprised to see you here. The Governor General made a deal with Heiyue to keep the SSS Embracers busy so he could finish his business here in peace. We know they'll betray us eventually, of course, but you can't play in the gutter if you're afraid to get dirty. And what harms a betrayal if you know it's inevitable? Besides, someone might have seen to it that their group can wipe out Heiyue and the SSS all at once. No comment. <laughs> Guess that Rufus guy stopped giving a shit about his reputation. Clearly. And once the war with Calvert begins, he'll cast the Syndicate aside too. So this is how the Governor General... No, how the Ironbloods choose to operate, is it? <sighs> Major Arundel, I don't understand. After everything that's happened, after everything we've lost, why are you still siding with them? You and Major Revelt act like nothing's changed. Did she really mean that little to you? Ellie... You've really grown up, Black Rabbit. You too, Ash. Looks like you found your feet. Honestly, I'm kinda relieved. Answer the damn question. I thought you stood for something. Or are you just another one of Osborne's pawns? Yeah. Pretty much. Thing is, when Claire and I failed to save Milliam, it messed us up pretty bad. I think we both looked to her as a replacement for the family we'd lost. Osborne, on the other hand, was the man who took that family from me. I joined the Ironbloods thinking I'd be able to outsmart him and avenge my dad. But the man operates on a higher level. I mean, a thousand-year-old curse, the Great Twilight? <laughs> when those are the stakes, who the hell can compete? But you need to understand, he unleashed the Great Twilight to end the curse afflicting the Empire. He's taken it upon himself to uproot and reset a power that was all but impossible to fight back against. So I made up my mind. If siding with Osborne lets us create a world where Milliam's sacrifice wasn't in vain, then so be it. And that's how Claire and I will put things right. Uh, Bullshit! That's why you started this war? To reset everything? How is driving this country to ruin supposed to put anything right? Indeed. It makes my plan shine by comparison. Sharon. Or whoever you say you are now. Let me just say this. It doesn't matter to me what you and the rest of the society are planning here. Because you should know we haven't come this far for you to stop us now. We're going to take back what's important to us, no matter what, even if we have to go through you to do it. I won't hold back against you. I owe you that much. <laughs> 
I must applaud you for not asking me to return to your side. And though I do not know all the details of your mission, I hope you can take back what you've lost. I will not hesitate either. I intend to use every underhanded trick at my disposal. I will return the love you've shown me, but so too shall I stand in your way. Bring it on! If we must fight you, then so be it. We will not falter. Ah, to see old friends fighting against each other really gets you right in the heart. But maybe I should step in to really amp up the drama. I could do with a little fun. Especially after I'd let Lady Belle have the SSS and the Bracers last time. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! I've known this since we met at Orcus Tower, but you? You're the worst! None of this involves you, and you still choose to make things worse for everyone with that crappy little grin on your face! Sharon and the Major are both struggling to make choices they can stand by, but what about you? Do you think about a single thing you do? Does anything even matter to you? Then, you go on to mention the one who betrayed Crossbell. It's time someone knocked that grin off your stupid face. And while we're at it, we are going to expose the Governor General, get to the bottom of whatever you're planning, and take Instructor Reen back, no matter what. <laughs> Yuna. <laughs> That's exactly right. I have to admit, that one kinda stung. You're clearly getting a bit hot under the collar. My role as Enforcer Number Zero gives me much less freedom than my compatriots, you see. Personal stakes just aren't on the table for me. So, to show I care, this time, I'll actually try. Just a little bit. You made some bold declarations just now. Show me you're not all talk, hmm? Just wait and see! <laughs> it's so rare to see you lose your composure. Maybe I'll follow suit and pull out all the stops, too. Is that? This is what he did at the Grohl. The Iron Blood's dirty little trick. And the Great Twilight's only made it stronger. It's time you learned what you're really up against. I'll be fighting in earnest as well. Prepare to be eclipsed by death. <laughs> Just hold out as best you can, all right? <laughs> you sure talk a big game. Now prove it. Let your guard down and you'll soon be eclipsed. I got this. Let's go. Go wild! Crazy hunt! 
I'll handle this. How about a little fire? Nope. Let's get him. It's mine. Damn it. Nope. Uh, it's my turn. Ha! <laughs> Let's get him. It's mine. My turn. Thank you. Uh, Alrighty then. Let's go. Azure Paper! <laughs> it's off balance. We strike as one. Leave it to me. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're not bad at all. Behold, the soul of our saint. Now. Radiant <laughs> Phoenix Blade. Whoa. Well, well. Seems like you're not all talk. 